Hi guys, it's Debbie and today I would like to talk about one of the films which at the moment I am considering one of my favourites of 2018 and that is Searching. Searching follows the life of your average father and daughter. Margot is a teenager in high school studying hard, practicing piano and in general keeping out of trouble and David, the dad, is a busy but caring parent. One day, out of the blue, Margot goes missing. No warning signs, no reason to disappear Appear. One day she is going to study at a friend's, the next she's gone. Margot's mysterious story sparks a huge investigation, which reveals more and more frightening and dark information as the plot unfolds. I do not want to reveal anything more about the story because any small spoiler could ruin the general viewing experience. So instead, let's talk about the general features of this film which made me love it so much. The first feature I appreciated is the ingenious manner in which the movie is created, as everything we see is set inside the character's device. Anything we see in the film comes from Margot, David or the lead detective's computers, cell phones. The footage following the disappearance is uh, provided through online news reports. Snippets are shown through live streams, cams or in general from behind a screen. GPS, Google Maps, YouTube, MacBook apps, live streaming websites. All these mediums allow us to follow the story and everything is incredibly accurate and realistic, allowing us to follow the story in a really engaging manner, as if our hands are the ones using the devices, as if we are typing, reading, watching, we see everything through the character's point of view. And the details are so impressive. For example, when David is trying to patch uh, together as much information as possible about his daughter, he tries to access her Facebook account. He is denied access because he doesn't know the password, so he then gets stuck in all the tedious process of sending a new code to a Gmail address, but then he can't access the Gmail account, so a code is sent to another website. Or when he is searching something on the internet, his daughter's most accessed websites pop up, but the links she already clicked on are purple. He has to move between one screen and another, one app and another. Even during just the build up to the actual main event, we introduce to the characters through their computers, and we actually see how technology evolved over the time. We see the time computers used to take to start up. We see the appearance of websites how we used to know them, for example, you YouTube's original layout, then there is all the social media aspect, the comments on the disappearance. The film even shows the now so popular format of the podcast, with users leaving hate comments creating hashtags upon the story. As a generation of avid internet users, we find it very easy and enjoyable to follow this kind of thriller story, as we find ourselves more engaged. Even the smallest things that were so different with the old uh, crime investigation films have changed now. For example, even just looking at a map and trying to figure out where a person could have disappeared change as we find ourselves looking at a Google Maps page. So I think director Anish Chaganti did an excellent job as this is actually his first feature film so I can't wait to see more works on his behalf. Just think of the difference between this kind of film and the unfriended genre which also attempted to to work upon this concept of how our personal life and our life on, online are intertwined. The second feature I loved concerning this film was the intense plot that kept on piling on more and more information, more and more details, more possible leads as the hours went by, but never letting us lose track of all the elements. Also because of the screen we had as a reference, it was nearly like observing a large chalkboard with all the information building up in front of our eyes. The third feature I really appreciated of this film was its realism, which definitely sets it apart from many other movies, especially the ones in which the family element plays an important role. I've spoken about this concept previously on my channel and in particular I've emphasised how I've often found that family scenarios are represented in an unrealistic, idealised manner. Perfect parents who know everything about their perfect, successful, popular children. They know all their friends by name, they know their kids' schedule, they attend all the parent-teacher meetings, they welcome their children in the morning already made up with a perfect breakfast laid out for their perfect day, exchanging a funny buddy joke while searching on the other hand for example opens with a father scolding his daughter for not having taken out the, the 
garbage bin, and throughout the whole film there are references to a normal family relationship. For example, David doesn't exactly know who his daughter's friends are. This added up to the complexity of the case, David's frustration in not being able to find out more about his daughter. So all in all, I really enjoyed searching. I would definitely recommend to watch it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about the film, if you saw it, and if you didn't, what you might expect from it. And if you'd like to see more movie-related content, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.